Hi, this is Andrew Tsai, and here today I'm going to introduce you to the new Amazfit Bip S. This is a new budget smartwatch, which is not yet available from the normal channels like Amazon, but you can buy them from places like AliExpress and Gearbest. Links in the description. What's appealing to me for this kind of watch is that it's an improvement of the original Amazfit Bip, um, mainly the built-in GPS and the heart rate monitor and the extra water resistance, which I think was previously one atmosphere and now it's down to you know 50 meters. Um, what's appealing for me for this kind of watch, um, even though I haven't used the predecessor, is that it has a very long battery life, something like eight days plus, according to other reviews. Um, this watch is kind of replacing my now dead Pebble Time, which I really, really loved. And um, it's this is far cheaper than this was uh, on launch and has a higher water resistance level. And I think the software side has improved a lot too. Um, the notifications with the iPhone I will test out today. So I'm gonna do my unboxing now. So I'm um, just breaking the seals from the top. Might need to get something a little bit stronger. Packaging is not too bad. Oh, and there we are. Let's have a look good looks very very similar to my original pebble time in terms of size i mean this looks more like an apple watch to me it's kind of neat packaging instruction booklet. Wow, they've made this very, very small. to the charger. And this is the device itself. You can see the heart rate monitor on the back. And uh, let me just undo the straps. Yeah, we've got the charging unit. So I expected more of a magnetic snap to it, but I think it's got more of a tension from the plastic. So it doesn't just clip on automatically like the pebble charger would. But I think that's more kind of secure as well, so you know that it's charging, because a few times I've charged a pebble and it hasn't really, it's magnetically stuck on, but it's not really actually charging. But this one is, is always going to make contact with these points. So I've been using the Amaze Fitbit S for several days now, and I wanted to give my review and impressions of this particular smartwatch. And uh, overall, I'm really, really impressed with how this smartwatch works, especially as it's such a cheap smartwatch compared to other competitors out there like the Apple Watch. And like the Pebble Time, which I had before, it's much, much cheaper than what the Pebble Time was even when it came out. And um, in many ways, this watch is far superior. It's got a very good high resolution screen. 
it's got um, very, very good battery life. So I'm looking at around six or seven percent battery usage per day with, with the brightness turned up and all the functions on. And we're well on track to, a, you know, a two week um, usage of the, the watch without um, charging again, which means that, you know, if I take it on a holiday, I don't have to pack an extra charger, just make sure it's charged beforehand and it should last the entire time. Um, it's got really good um, water resistance. My old uh, Pebble Time claimed to be water resistant, but um, I had this one replaced before because uh, water seeped in through the sides. Um, it remains to be seen whether this one is going to be as water resistant, but it's meant to be rated for 50 meters. So I'm quite confident this is going to work uh, quite well. And um, what, I'm, what I like about this is that it still works for me as a good smartwatch. All I really want is to get notifications on the on the smartwatch to know when I'm getting a call. I don't really want to browse photographs on this tiny screen. I don't really want to um, text on this screen. I just want to check some uh, activity monitoring for health monitoring and I want to get notifications. So the way that this device handles iPhone notifications is pretty good. It's better than my old Pebble Time anyway, because um, the old Apple uh, iPhone syncing to the Pebble Time, it used to just display every single notification that you can get. The Amazfit app on the iPhone does allow some level of customization of what notifications are shown. So you've got things like WhatsApp and you've got uh, messages, etc., which you can filter or you can turn on or off. But most apps are covered under this generic app filter, which is a shame because I would have liked to have been able to filter out things like Discord notifications, which I'll receive a ton of, which I'd like to see on my phone, but not necessarily on my watch as well. I do also like the fact that the um, Amazfit app also synchronizes with the uh, Apple iOS Health app as well. So um, all of your data like uh, steps and heart rate synchronizes over to the Health app. So that's quite nice to have everything in one place. So I have really enjoyed using my Amazfit Bip S and it has an incredible value. I paid $77.99 for this watch, which uh, includes a small $2 coupon, which you can get as a new AliExpress customer. And um, I managed to buy this version from Spain, which shipped a little bit faster than it would if it came from China, which would be 20 to 40 days. This does make it a little bit easier to process shipping and returns. So I would recommend doing something like that. Um, the number of features and the quality of the watch and the quality of the screen and the, and the and the battery efficiency of this watch is incredible and it's such a good deal compared to something like the Apple Watch. So this Apple Watch Series 5 is coming in at £399 for the base model and there's no denying that the Apple Watch is much more premium a product than the Amazfit Bip S but you have several disadvantages. I mean, one is just going to be the price itself. You could buy several Amazfit Bip S watches to make up the price of one of these Apple Watches. But also the fact that the Apple Watch itself is such a battery drainer. You would be lucky to get 24 hours of usage without having to recharge this back with this smartwatch again. And... Um, it's just a real pain to have to keep taking your watch off and on, especially if you're trying to track things like um, your activity levels, then taking the watch off is kind of defeats the purpose of having a watch in the first place. So I do really recommend this, this watch. I think it's a really good value and it works really well on the iPhone, better than um, other kind of third party watches like the Pebbles used to work. And I think it's a really worthy successor to that budget Pebble watch and it works well with the iPhone. It probably works better with the with Android devices. There's probably more deeper customization and integration with notifications. But as I stand it, I'm very happy with the the way that the Amazfit Bip S works. I'm Overall, I'm really, really happy with this device. I'm going to put links in the description for this smartwatch and you'll be able to see which seller I bought it from. 
If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and you'll be able to watch my next tech video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.